All Weather Operation Introduction General Concepts How to Get Approval Aircraft Requirements Airfield Requirements Operational Approval Low Visibility Takeoff Introduction This module discusses all aspects of Category 2, Category 3 and Low Visibility Takeoff Operations, which are the main part of All Weather Operations. The term All Weather Operations also includes Category 1 Operations, and Taxiing in Low Visibility, as shown below. To definitions the category 2 is a precision approach corresponding to weather minima as mentioned here below, a cow definition a category 2 approach is a precision instrument approach and landing with decision height lower than 60 meters, 200 feet, but not less than 30 meters, 100 feet, and a runway visual range not less than 350 meters, 1200 feet. FAA definition A category 2 approach is a precision instrument approach and landing with decision height lower than 200 feet, 60 meters, but not lower than 100 feet, 30 meters, and a runway visual range less than 2,400 feet, 800 meters, but not less than 1,200 feet, 350 meters. J. A. Definition A. Category 2 approach is a precision instrument approach and landing with decision height lower than 200 feet, 60 meters, but not lower than 100 feet, 30 meters, and a runway visual range not less than 300 meters, 1000 feet. Cat 3 A definitions A car and FA A definition A category 3 A approach is a precision instrument approach and landing with no decision height or a decision height lower than 100 feet, 30 meters, and a runway visual range not less than 700 feet, 200 meters. J A definition A category 3 A approach is a precision instrument approach and landing with a decision height lower than 100 feet, 30 meters and a runway visual range not less than 700 feet, 200 meters. It is worth noting that the JA considers that CAT 3A is always associated with a decision height, difference with a cow, FAA. Cat 3B definitions A car and FA A definition A category 3B approach is a precision approach and landing with no decision height or a decision height lower than 50 feet, 15 meters, and a runway visual range less than 700 feet, 200 meters, but not less than 150 feet, 50 meters. J A definition A category 3B approach is a precision approach and landing with no decision height or a decision height lower than 50 feet, 15 meters, and a runway visual range less than 700 feet, 200 meters, but not less than 250 feet, 75 meters. Notes. A cow, FA and J A differ by the minimum RV are associated with CAT 3B approaches, 50 meters. 75 meters. JAA, where the DH and the RVR do not fall in the same category, the RVR will determine in which category, CAT 3A or B, the operation is to be considered. CAT 3C definition A cow and FA A definition A category 3C approach is a precision approach and landing with no decision height and no runway visual range limitation. CAT 3C operations are not currently authorized and the JA does not mention this subcategory.
Decision height definition. Decision height is the wheel height above the runway elevation by which a go around must be initiated unless adequate visual reference has been established and the aircraft position and approach path have been assessed as satisfactory to continue the approach and landing in safety. Jar. For CAT 2 and CAT 3A, a pilot may not continue the approach below decision height unless a visual reference containing not less than a three light segment of the center line of the approach lights or runway center line or touchdown zone lights or runway edge lights is obtained. For CAT 3B, the visual reference must contain at least one center line light. Approach lights. Check. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Retard. Retard. Decision height concept. Decision height is a specified point in space at which a pilot must make an operational decision. The pilot must decide if the visual reference is adequate to safely continue the approach have been established. If the visual references have not been established, a go-around must be executed. If the visual references have been established, the approach can be continued. However, the pilot may always decide to execute a go-around if sudden degradations in the visual references or a sudden flight path deviation occurred. In category to operations, decision height is always limited to 100 feet or obstacle clearance height, whichever is higher. In category 3 operations with decision height, the decision height is lower than 100 feet typically equal to 50 feet for a fail passive automatic landing system and 15 to 20 feet for a fail operational automatic landing system. Alert height is a height defined for category 3 operations with a fail operational landing system. Above alert height, a go around must be initiated if a failure affects the fail operational landing system. The list of these failures is mentioned in the aircraft flight manual. Below alert height, the approach will be continued, except if auto land warning is triggered. The alert height is evaluated during aircraft certification, it is set at 100 feet for Airbus 300, 310, 320 family, and 200 feet for Airbus 330, 340. Fail Passive Automatic Landing System an automatic landing system is fail passive if, in the event of a failure, there is no significant out of trim condition or deviation of flight path or attitude but the landing is not completed automatically. For a fail passive automatic landing system the pilot assumes control of the aircraft after a failure, JAA. On Airbus aircraft since the Airbus 320. Fail passive capability is announced by the display of CAT 3 single on the PFD. Fail operational automatic landing system. An automatic landing system is fail operational if, in the event of a failure below alert height, the approach, the flare and landing can be completed by the remaining part of the automatic system. In the event of failure, the automatic landing system will operate as a fail passive system, JAA. On Airbus aircraft since the Airbus 320, fail operational capability is announced by the display of CAT-3 dual on the PFD.